This is the DJI FPV drone. Now I have absolutely no idea how to fly this. Zero. It's actually less than zero. I haven't tried a simulator, so you're gonna see how someone with absolutely no knowledge flies it. This actually does change everything. I have no idea how to fly an FPV drone. I actually have no interest in flying an FPV drone. But apparently, I can fly this. Apparently so. Now, the coolest thing is the alien's predator sound when it starts up. Check it out. Just, just check this out once more. It kind of rattles and just... just... That's, that's, that's worth buying it just for that. Just worth, it's, okay. So it comes with this huge uh, battery that you kind of stick in the back, click in, and you're ready to go. It's a very nice drone. It feels very good. Let me do a really quick unboxing for you guys. Just so, you know, just the, the fastest unboxing out there. Told you so. So you get the drone in the box. It's a very nice drone. You get four propellers, Two have red, two are gray, and you get an extra set in case you break them. That's the drone. You get a controller, which is really nice. I'm, you know, a little bit weird. It doesn't have a place for your phone. I'm used to flying drones like the Mavics. You know, it, it, it's, it's weird. So you have like start, stop. You have your tilt, which is really cool because you can now tilt, which you couldn't do in a normal FPV because you have like a GoPro attached to it. So that's pretty cool. You have a return to home and pause button. So you're, you're, you're going into a crash, you just press it and it's whoop. Thank you, DJI, for that, because that's gonna help me. And you have your manual, sport, and normal mode. To turn it into manual, you basically have to rip the back of this off, use the provided hex key, and turn F2 and F1 in, and then it will be not spring-loaded like this. So you're not gonna be able to flick your sticks. Basically what that'll mean is that it will stay in the position where you put it. So down is off, and as you push it forward, that means it goes faster and faster. And it's basically the throttle. So you're just gonna That's That's kind of what I saw in all the FPV films. And I do have a small FPV from Better FPV. I crashed it, so at the moment I'm waiting for parts to review it. So yeah, it's a cool little controller, feels good in your hand. It is very, very solid. It charges via USB-C, it's got extra little, you know, sticks, so that's pretty cool. You get this. It's the version two goggles, it has a whole load of buttons. Record, um, back, and your toggle select button. Some buttons on the side, it's got a whole bunch of lights. It comes with four antennas that you screw in. It's got speakers, it's got like toggles on the bottom so you can toggle the eyepieces inside and it comes with a strap, and it basically looks like this. So at the moment, I can't see you, and I feel weird and uncomfortable. My cat, my drone, and that's about it. I'm guessing that the microphone's over here somewhere. You guys are there. It's weird, I don't know. I, I need to get used to it. I have one problem, though. My balance inside is a little bit weird, so if I put on goggles and it's, you know, it's going down, I tried it yesterday for two minutes, and I felt a little bit queasy, a little bit dizzy. It's a little bit odd. You put a micro SD card in there to record. Now, the thing that I did not expect was this. This is a battery. This thing does not have an internal battery. It comes with a weird little cable like this, which is USB-C on one end, and you get a power brick. Plug it in. Plug it into the side here. That's not it. You get an extra cable, USB-C to USB. You plug in your lightning cable, whatever cable your phone has, and you plug that in on this side next to the mini SD card slot. And this is how you're flying. Battery here, this plugs into your phone and you turn on DJI Fly. I thought we'd have an internal battery and I thought DJI Fly would probably be installed inside the goggles. So I'm, I don't know, I, I, it, may, it, it may be normal. It probably is, but having two cables coming out of this is kind of really weird. It's kind of cyborg 
shit for me. But okay, that's how it works, and I guess that's how you guys fly FPV, so... It's, it's fun. You also get an extra top, so you can put it on and it can be green. It looks pretty cool, a little funky. And like I said, you get the gimbal protector and an extra USB-C cable for charging your controller and... Yeah. You can also buy the Top Gun thing, like this, you know, it, it works on normal and sports mode. So you've got the accelerator and you kind of, you, you do this whole Top Gun stuff. I don't know, I'm going to try it out today. It looks like fun. We're going to go out, we're going to have fun now. I think I might just be filming Orkash doing this because I feel, like I said, a little bit queasy. So I'll let him fly and we'll see what this looks like. Apparently the camera is a little bit similar to the Mini 2. We'll see if we can even fly this thing. Let's go and try that now. Right, so we are out here in the Polish forest once again, and we have the FPV. Now, Łukasz is going to be flying it, and um, as you can see, it's right here. Got the FPV, it's ready. Um, we have the phone with the app on, Łukasz has got the controller, and the headset on. This is going to be our first flight ever, so I'm very interested in how this is going to turn out. Like I said, I have a problem with, like, you know, motion sickness, so it's probably not the best idea that I fly it, but we're gonna see if Okash can fly it, because we've never flown one of these, so this is gonna be interesting. So this thing takes off like a rocket. This is N mode, normal mode, and it reacts almost like an FPV drone, so it dips and dives to the left, to the right. The thing that annoys me a little bit that I'm not used to is that the props are in the way. And I understand it needs to be going fast and it needs to be at a 45 degree angle looking straight ahead for the props not to be there. I'm guessing it's something we're going to have to get used to, but it's a lot of fun. This is it blasting up in the air in sports mode. It's ridiculously fast. The fisheye look and the props, I really need to get used to that, but... I'm guessing I'm going to have to learn manual mode. When it comes to the transmission, you can see on the screen there are a few pixels. Now the cool thing is, is that this is straight from the drone. There's no sound at all. But if you record on your goggles, you actually get sound. But you also get a lot of pixels. There's a lot of interference, for example, flying through these trees which is a little bit scary because you can't see the twigs and the branches well enough for it to be safe, in my opinion. I have trouble walking through there, never mind getting a drone through there, so that's, that's pretty damn cool. Awesome! Awesome! I do really love the way that this thing looks though, very aggressive, very kind of science fiction futuristic. It's got a really cool design to it. Well done, TGI. Well done. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I can feel. Okay. Oh, it's got a nice height. Well, that is awesome. It's nice to know that I'm right there. I can tilt down. Oh fuck. <laughs> Holy balls. Okay, this is really freaky. This is so freaky. By the H, I mean that whilst you're looking through the goggles, there's a big white virtual H, which helps you get back home. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I definitely could be sick in a second. This this feels weird, especially if I'm if I'm like turning. That is just the weirdest thing. Oh god, I don't know if that feels good. If, they say amateurs like turn with it. I don't think I'm doing that. One thing I do really love is the sound you get through the goggles. I wish all drones recorded the sound. It sounds really badass. Okay, I'm a, I am in S at the moment, by the way. It, it, it's, um, as soon as you let go, it gets... As soon as you let go, it, it, um, it kind of stutters a little. I do really like the fact that it shows you where home is. 
Let's say if we're going nice and straight and we want to kind of look down at us. Do a nice little pan down. That's it's pretty cool, but I do see them. I do see the props. Okay, so if I turn it to N, or is N right there? The props are constantly in the um, frame. So even if I want to, for example, make this drone cinematic and go nice and slow, I will have the props in the frame. Okay. That's freaky. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, I don't feel comfortable doing this. Oh, that was definitely a branch. That feels so weird, especially like spinning back around. But the H is awesome, I like the H. Let me switch from the drone footage to the goggle footage now. The connection isn't too great, it's like a little bit like pixely on my screen. Whoa, I could see myself, that is so freaky, and I could see myself turning around. Yep. Land. Stick down, auto landing in progress. Okay. I feel a little bit, a little bit motion sick, um, especially like when I'm turning the actual drone in, and it kind of dips right into the turns. Um, that feels really kind of just, maybe I'm not used to it. Maybe I have like this whole motion sickness. I was definitely sick a lot when I was driving in the car with my parents when I was young. So it feels a little bit weird, but it's a cool experience. It really is a fun experience. Um, it flows really well, but as you saw, the propellers are constantly in the image. If I go slow, nice and smooth, cinematic, I'm looking forward or down, the propellers are in the image. If I go fast and it kind of gets into the position it's meant to be in, and it's looking forward, then the propellers are out of the image. I guess you can crop that, but um, yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so this is full speed, full acceleration in sports mode. Whoops. Oh, you cut off a few branches. He cut off a few branches. Hmm? You cut off a few branches. Let's take it down and see if the propellers took a hit. So he hit like about four branches on the way there. We'll see if the propellers are hurt in any way at all. Oh, we've got a couple of scrapes here. Little scrape here. Not much else going on. Did a good job. Fun? Fun. Very fun. <laughs> Scary but fun. Scary but fun. Scary but fun. Right, so flying this thing is a lot of fun. Okash is having a good time. He doesn't seem to have the uh, motion sickness that I do. And um, he definitely clipped a few branches down there. It's got only a few scratches on the actual props. We flew three batteries, each battery was about 20 minutes and we were kicking it all in 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, we were all kicking it in um, sports mode. So no M mode, because we just, next we time. next time, we might try the simulator, give that a go, well, Ukash will anyway, and we'll get back to you with some clips from that. But at the moment, yeah, we're gonna turn this guy off, get him charged and um, hope you guys like that. Any questions to all cash from me, drop them in the comments below. Um, if you like the film, give us a like and uh, make sure you subscribe. It'll be right down there below, all cash. Have a great day.